Welcome back. My name is Azalea and welcome to Murrayfield episode 16. I apologize. It has been a while. Stuff has happened. Between now and the last time there was PAX, my birthday, the vacation, and now we're just kind of settling in with stuff. And uh, last time we convened for an episode, we installed that tram or that metro which is going to increase our pedestrian traffic as you saw just a second ago tons of people trying to cross that street we might have to implement safer pedestrian crossings with some sidewalks some bridges or underground passageways let's jump in so hopefully your summer ended well as we're entering fall we are now, today's date is October 3rd, and fall has happened. However, I couldn't tell that by looking at my thermometer outside. I'm going to do a little bit of tidying up here, see if there's anything we can clean up to help our city. Uh, since getting back from PAX, I have started a very specific tutorial series involving this very game. I'll have it linked down below if there's any questions as far as that. If you're looking for those tutorials, that's probably the best place to be. I will tell you how I do things while I build it here. But this is more of a let's play as opposed to a specific tutorial. I'm just kind of checking to see if there's any more abandonment that has happened the normal process of the game it does happen even to great cities okay last episode we made this part which will be mostly office space we'll, we'll have office buildings here and we were talking about having residential in between here here and here and probably here and probably some commercial here I was taking a look at our structure right now we don't have highway that runs all the way the length of our city and I'm not sure we're gonna ever have that except for I was looking at where we might build next and I'm not quite sure so I want to fill up what we have I'm not sure what I can do with those islands maybe little pockets of little neighborhoods on each island uh I'm keeping industry where it is and growing towards that river. We don't have any river. We don't have any river traffic. So we, we have no shipping lanes. So the only way we can get stuff in and out for industry purposes is rail line, which we have, and highway, which we already have. So I can't make a port that will function on this particular map. And then eventually we'll need an airport, which we could stick on an island. But right now, as far as like highway access, we have we have one highway access point into the city in its entirety. There are no other highways on this actual map. Which is a little more challenging for somebody who's just beginning. Um, this is a map that comes with green cities. So unless you have that expansion, you won't have it. And I forget what its name is. And I was just thinking, what am I going to do to help that? And I think we're going to try to encourage use of our mass transit. And keep our highway, hopefully, industrial goods. Which, for the most part... It seems to be 
the case. Although when we get here, this is people going to work, I'm assuming. Because the only way to connect between that part of the city and this is to get on the highway. Other than our mass transit. So our mass transit lines, we have a handful. We are taking our metro. We, we made some spurs. They all convene into one stop and then they continue on. And then we have bus routes that route to the stops. Except for here. Which will probably address that maybe this episode. If not this episode, the next one. I wanted to expand here, but I wanted to also address our commercial and our, resi our industry demand. Our industry demand, I believe, is coming from... Our education levels. Which, if we take a peek at our industrial zone, we have a ton of industrial zone compared to our office. And we have a lot more educated individuals now than we've had in the past. So we might need to start adding more. And if we do, I'm just going to add, I'm going to zone some. But I want to zone, I don't want to zone on the main street. I want to zone off of it. And we might put government buildings there. And I'm not, I'm not zoning all of the space, I'm zoning very particular amounts of space for some creative, hopefully what should turn out to be a little more random instead of seeing the same building. And to give it a little bit of space. Because if we can give a little bit of space, then we could fill it in with parks. Like, here we have the space in the middle, and I just zoned everything. We might actually change that, and we might do the same stuff here too. This is probably not the city's final form. The cities are living, breathing things, and they always change. Okay, so now to the meat and potatoes of what I wanted to do. I was thinking that I may need something to bridge this here so I don't force traffic to have to use this circle to cross to get to stuff here. And then to fill in with our some of our neighborhoods. So first, I'm gonna have to say goodbye to some of these houses. I apologize if that was your house but we have to make way. I'm actually gonna do a two lane avenue, four lane avenue, technically. Uh, and I set my, set my tool to freehand. I wanna see where this might actually cross. Do I straighten it or do I keep it bent? Let's keep it. Let's keep it bent. Just like that. So now that I've gotten that height, which should be tall enough for all of our vehicles. Yeah, that's plenty. I'm going to take this. And hopefully, do that. So 
so it's a little more smooth, although this little stretch kind of bugs me, but I don't know if there's anything I can do with it. I could do this. That that's at least a little better. It's a little more smooth than before. Now we don't necessarily have that problem here. I think, I think I'm going to do this. And then we'll tie it. Now we're using bike lanes. On this part of town. I should probably encourage bike on this too. So I, I did this avenue so that way traffic can make a decision. So I have two lanes going into do two different directions. There will be a third here probably eventually. So they'll take either the left lane to go left here, or they'll take the right lane to go forward. So it gives them an option. So it should help spread out traffic. Now the whole goal with this is to alleviate some of this. If you're on the highway and you're exiting, and you want to get into this part of the city, you have multiple different choices. Or you can continue. And then if you're on this part of the city and you want to get to here, you don't, instead of going through here or here, you can bypass a lot of that with this. Especially if you're on this side. You could just do. And as we connect this to join these neighborhoods. We're going to have even more traffic needing to crisscross here. So having this will at least allow us to bridge the, uh, the traffic circle, so to speak, to skip it altogether. Uh, but our neighborhoods, are, our neighborhoods don't quite align. And what I was thinking of doing was producing... I was thinking about squeezing in a park, so we have a nice park. That, and we could put a little buffer zone between what should be pretty loud here with the highway and some residential stuff. But this and this don't line up. This and this doesn't line up. So we're about to have, you know, some odd shapes. And that's okay. But what I was going to do was I was probably going to just simply connect it like so. If I do this, There. So I'm using the freehand tool, and that's what allowed me to do that. Now I'm putting in... I wish I could put in bike lanes with trees in vanilla, but I can't. So maybe I'm just going to keep it a bike lane. But 
that could make one big massive park, but I don't, I don't know if I want that. Now I'm going to follow our river. to about here. I don't really want... I don't want to encourage these people to take this. I want to encourage them to take the mass transit that's built in. And we'll do that. Because then we can do more... Although, I would want to connect this side to this, so maybe, maybe we do connect it. So, a trick to keeping your stuff round before I do connect this, I'm actually going to take this road, and I'm going to do that to this circle. Oops. I'm on... Not the tool I want. I'm eyeing this stretch of land for development. I was like, ooh, more land. Okay. So that has done that. I want neighborhood, like, not, uh, not block and grid. So this neighborhood has one entrance. What I might do is I might, uh, for the sake of progress, we might make a second entrance to the side. And in fact, what we might even do is we might just get rid of this for the moment. Um, I'm playing with the game paused, which is also kind of bad for your money. And we're going to connect. And we're only going to lose one house. That's good. The biggest thing is that you don't want to get attached to... ...your buildings, because then you can't ever make changes that you need to make. We might lose a second one here. Perfect. Our main arteries have bike lanes. I'm going to actually install bike lanes here while... Really? You're going to bulldoze? Along our main arteries. Keep the... Wow. That's a bummer. Keep the main, keep the interior streets with uh, those trees. Help, help improve the land value, but also reduce noise. Wow, I'm just losing all kinds of buildings from uh, upgrading the streets. So now we have a way for somebody to ride a bike on the main streets rather safely. And now we're going to finish off this neighborhood. I'm going to actually make... I might have to say no snapping. Do angle and road length. Okay, there's one cul-de-sac. We might not get...
like that. And I'll just run it here. Um, and here maybe... These poor people probably bought this house thinking that they'd be the only ones backing, you know, th these houses didn't exist. I was in a neighborhood that all the land around the neighborhood started to get uh, more housing. So we lost a field behind us. It's a farmer's field. Obviously, um, the farmer probably had passed and either their children didn't want to run it or whatever corporation they might have been uh you know whatever co-op or or whatever felt the land was better to be sold off as opposed to managed it was like in terms of farms it's not like it was an a farm with the actual structures. So in order for them to get the equipment to it, they actually had to drive quite a bit on uh, on roads, contending with all the other type of traffic in a rather large suburban area. So it was probably for the better, as far as they're concerned, to ditch that property. Uh, but it meant they were cramming in more houses because when my neighborhood growing up was built in the late 70s or early 80s the uh the land the the plots of land were much larger and the houses were a decent size i would say the average neighbor the average house size in that neighborhood was probably uh 1700 to 2200 square foot uh depending on the model of the house and the new neighborhood had similar square footage, but the lot size was a lot smaller. Which, obviously, if you are a homeowner to the neighboring to that, that's a little bit of a concern. Because it could have an impact on your property value. Although, I would kind of feel it would make it a little more valuable because you seem to have the more your your lot size is larger than those even though your home is older I don't know if you guys are into real estate and all that stuff I mean you could comment down below and be like well yeah kind of I'm gonna do I'm going to do this. And we'll probably leave this as park space. Probably this last cul-de-sac here. And then we'll get to do doing some zoning. I did a tutorial on creative zoning for aesthetic. It is in that tutorial playlist linked below. Perfect. Okay, we need we need some commercial. I'm going to do I'm going to do I'm going to do this. And we could put a park gate here. A uh, side gate. That space is not already occupied. Really? Why can I not do this? Isn't that silly?
Uh, that's kind of silly. I wonder if we just do that, if that will help. Yeah. I mean, whatever. <laughs> it is what it is, yeah. Jeez. Jeez Louise. Sometimes you just have to straighten the road. Uh, how about... How about there? So these are from Park Life. Looks cute. Um, oh yeah, I haven't unlocked this stuff yet. Have a level three. What is this park level? Level two. Still need more visitors. What is this park level one? We'll get those visitors soon. Okay, back to zoning. So this side also needs probably some school. And while I'm thinking about it, yeah. We could do this. We could put the school in the neighborhood. Yeah, we have a lot of... Our capacity for high school is pretty... Pretty... Pretty blah. Uh... I mean, I could... I could do this. I know I zoned that. Oh. Whoops. Somebody forgot to put some stuff in. Oh well, we'll we'll get that. I zoned that and now I placed this here. So what I'm going to do is leave that unzoned. Keep it keep it for the school. Okay, I could probably Temporarily do this. And play. So we don't lose as much money. And we can start getting development. So as I zone these, when I, when I make these little spaces smaller, it basically tells the game... I want that size proper. Well, it does tell the game you want that size property, but having this variety here will help have a variety of different buildings, which is the the goal. I'm going to leave that open and we'll put trees here. So instead of just taking what the game is giving us and zoning every little square. We're just grabbing some of the tiles.
this way, we should have a mix. And usually they say your corner lots are the most expensive because there's more space, but in this case, in the game, nope. I mean, I could zone them. Oops. There. You don't have to make cul-de-sacs like I did. I just... I do it... Ooh, do I want to do that? No. See, look, people are already using that to get down into that part of the city. Exactly what I feared. Although, I mean, it might, it might prove beneficial. I want to encourage them to use, I might use the policy to help with uh, mass, the use of mass transit. You know what, I don't think we have a fire station on this part of town. I mean, our budget's still good, we're at 96. We can afford that. Uh, recently I've been playing Tropico 6 on Twitch. Uh, I'll probably have a couple videos of that eventually. I don't want them there because I expect more traffic here, but I have them zoned there. Uh, and if you didn't know, Tropico 6 is on, is out as far as like the beta is concerned. Anybody can get it. You're basically, you're effectively pre-ordering the game. And you get to play the beta and help them shape the game in which you would like to see. So if you're a big fan of the series, now is probably a time to jump into that. If you want to see this version be successful. What I wouldn't give for prop line tool right now. They planted all these trees alike to produce a natural fence. I might have to bulldoze some. Because it does does bug me. Was it... Was it that one or was it this one? Uh-oh. I'm in trouble. Beep, 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 beep. My trackball's middle mouse button, the scroll wheel, has, uh, has broken, so I'm actually using an old Razer mouse right now, which I use for other games, and I like the, I like the trackball, the trackball for this and Planet Coaster, but... Until I replace it... Because I actually, I'm pulling up on the mouse, which is part of my issue. Uh, 
Almost done. Okay. Oh, right. Water. Ha! Huh. How could I forget? Oh, and it's just that spot. Done. Fixed. Grow my children. Okay, that is solved. Let's, uh... Let's zone. Isn't that pretty at night? Look at that. Let's get a few more office. To help our cause here. And I could do commercial here, commercial there. Now these are going to take deliveries, but I'm not filling them. I should get one building out of each of those that I zoned, but that should at least help. Although it's kind of out of place. We might, there might be some residential on that island, which would help. And the commercial that we did add, we kind of took out. So we're going to place. This here. So that will help that section. So we added this guy. Let me turn off our nighttime. So we added this zone today. Not too bad. Uh, the parked cars always make it seem like there's traffic, but it's not. We're, visually, we're looking okay on traffic. I haven't looked at our hotspots. This might become more trafficked. This, I could potentially upgrade this. Which would help alleviate stress on this, but I don't. I don't want this to be a common road. I want it to be. They'll use it only because they live on this side, and that's quicker. Cool. Until next time, my name is Azili. Thanks for watching. Thank you for asking for another episode. That truly meant a lot to me. I know this one's probably a little long. We're at about 40 minutes now, 3827 as I say this. Hopefully your City Skylines playing has been smashing and you've had an amazing summer. Until next time, be good to each other. Happy building.